or something. Like it, he's like this, pretty much called the first autopsy a, a slop Absolutely. job. Just like you guys, what, what are you going and to do here? The private investigators that were hired, they you know they just walked into the crime scene. They just basically were like, <laughs> "Are you guys looking at this? Look at it." I mean, you, you see you, this? If you look at the crime scene. So where they were laid out on this three-foot railing, there was some drag marks, right, leading, which means that floor can be marked. That's a, you know, that's a pretty interesting fact that there was drag marks, you know, a little ways away from them that shows this to floor can be marked. And they said, isn't it peculiar that if you were hanging yourself, you wouldn't struggle even in the slightest when you were suffocating? You wouldn't kick your legs, scuff the floor, nothing. You just would sit there until you died not a chance that's it nobody like, nobody like your body just would naturally react yeah, you have the everybody has that regret once it but once you initiate like it's there's it's, it's just just a defense mechanism right unless they unless no, ma- they no matter heavily, your intention unless, unless they heavily sedated themselves yeah prior to right um, which would right. be hard to fucking hang yourself after being sedated at a so the, so this type of tile floor they must have been walking they probably scuffed their shoes and be like oh look i made 18 marks just without trying right because there is some of those tile floors like the, some gyms and stuff depending on your sh- on the soles of your shoes you can just like go a little squeak and they're like oh there's a, there's a scuff there's a scuff, there's a scuff there's a scuff now it's it's one of those things where it's you know all this stuff is very quickly when the private investigators and, and they get the second off stuff he's done, they're just like, were, were you guys even looking? Were you guys even looking? Did you check? Did you look at anything possibly else other than this? And the Toronto police were like, well, that's funny you say that. Uh, we thought it was a, you know, a double homicide, a targeted homicide the whole time. Well, and if they and, would have even bothered to fucking interview the family members, they would have known that they never went into this pool area to begin with. Honey? She had bad knees. She couldn't do the fucking stairs, right? She refused to use the bath to use that area down there. Plus, there was that fucking spare bathroom where they found her cell phone in it, which they never used. And honey, honey refused to park in the underground parking lot because she would have to walk up the stairs. Up the right? stairs. So she yep. would park on the top level, so she didn't have to go anywhere. Right. So everybody's like, this doesn't make fucking sense. And finally, their 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 feelings are being vindicated by these private investors being like, "Yeah, this is a fucking sham." Like, so fucking, what yeah, are those I Keystone mean, cops? Like, who's doing this? Yeah. <laughs> right? Keystone yeah. light. I mean, the, I mean, the honey, honey in the basement. She, she never. I thought about it. She never uses it, but I think she could if she had to. She could get up the stairs. She's chose. To, like, I don't. My knees oh, hurt. I don't do it. Forced to. So it's. I mean. You're going to do the stairs. I'm just saying that the, the fact that she never used it doesn't mean she had never been down there. Now, just to the, the note, what Andrew said is the bathroom upstairs where Honey's phone was found uh, was the closest bathroom to the entrance she would have entered. So private investigators, you know, were thinking that maybe when she came home, because she would have arrived home just before Barry, that... Perhaps she saw someone in the house and made a beeline for that bathroom to try to call for help. And that's where enough. I mean, they don't have any record on her cell phone of her calling 911. But the day of the the day that they suppose that this happened, the day they were last seen, well, there was a dropped 911 call made from the area. And they couldn't find out where it came from. They went to the address where the call came from, knocked on the door, and the people who lived in the same areas were like, we didn't call 911. What are you talking about? Mm. Right? So they think it might have been been pinged in the wrong area. Bad ping. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking wild, man. Right? So pretty much to sum it up what's happened so far, on December 15th, 2017, their bodies are found. 2016, or December 16th, the autopsy is performed, the first one. They determine it's a ligature neck compression, uh, probable murder-suicide. December 21st is the funeral. The family gets mad to hire a private investigator. They do a second autopsy on the 23rd. Uh, the private investigator comes and inspects the house on the 28th. And it wasn't until, what was it? January 26th is when the police finally come and say, yeah, it was a double homicide. 
So it's like, how was that 60 days later? <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you what, the fucking, the, the Canadian version of the first 48 sucks. Yeah. Everybody's getting the first away. 60 days. Yeah. First 60 yeah. days. Yeah. Hey, we got 60 yeah. days. We'll try our best, first you know? 365 in Canada. Yeah. Fucking brutal. It's, right. But like, if, like any hot leads, anything is now cold. Like you are, you are now looking at a, at a. And it's not just because of the weather, boys. No, it's it, fucking cold because like they it, blew it. Yeah, absolutely blew it. And, you know, it's funny because, like, when you when you look up this case, you really have to dig to find out how bad the Toronto Police Service dropped the ball. Because, like, most things have been scrubbed where they're like, all the reports now are like, yeah, they're it's a targeted double homicide. Like, yeah, we, we have a pretty good idea what we think was, has happened. Still to this day, not no suspects announced. Uh, still to this day, no arrest, no charges. The best, the best evidence that they have is that they have a unknown person that was captured on a security video near the Sherman's multi-million dollar house in North York. Um, they say in the same time frame as the murder took place, they have somebody entering and exiting the front door of the house three times on December fourteenth, and that's between nine and ten a.m. And that's that's new information. At the time, they had because the, the police didn't do their diligence and go collect footage. They had no security footage at all. Yeah, and that's but that's all we have. We have they estimate the height of this person. This it's not even a person of interest. It's a suspect between like five foot six and five foot nine, and that's it. They can't tell male or female, skin color, nothing, hair color because it's dark, and that's all. So that's well, all mean, we have. Look, Just like a I, fucking quickly, one I'll security share the picture of uh, the suspect. Uh, in this case, where is he? This one here. Uh, you see this? I mean, could you get any more nondescript than that? Might as well be a fucking Peter Pan shadow perform the murder, right? Like the only identifying like feature Bigfoot. of this person said, <laughs> yeah. They the only identifying feature was he had a he walked with a weird gait, like a slight like skip or like a weird leg you swing. You can see like, it right like there. The slightly walking, different. Like, look how far he's leaned back. Oh, yeah. He's stepping like it's... yeah, so that's the only ident- identifying feature is that weird walking gait. And that's it. That's the only suspect they really have any type of evidence of. <laughs> it's just, just one security video. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite wild. Now... But there's... Uh, we're we're going to... We, my beer's empty, but, so we're going to get to some more history of Barry Sherman, but I got a yeah, refill. You need a refill? Yeah, let's get a refill, but let, yeah, and then we'll get into who the Shermans were. All right. Grab a beer. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10-minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks, guys. Enjoy the next video.